Hello and welcome back to Bound by Flame. <coughs> I'm first going to apologise if I'm a bit croaky in this next series of videos. I'm afraid I was out a bit late last night. But I've got me bottle of water with me, so... I... Ugh. So I should be basically fine. Off we pop. Oh, well that's not good. Basically leaves me stuck here, doesn't it? So yes, I'm heading there. Okay, so do I loop the loop around here? Okay, I think I'm going to go down and then I'll loop back up and investigate over there. Oh, bloody hell. More of these things. Yeah, these things are basically mimics, aren't they? They just hide in stuff that could be a loot chest. Bloody hell. Okay, I need to get back into the vibe of this game. I.e. constant, terrified fear. Okay, took it out with the counter kill. Come on. If my companion can keep... Blah. Wow, I stuttered a lot there. My companion can keep these two occupied... ...long enough. She's now down, so that's not good. Yes, at least they're pretty good at... ...cancelling out of the attack moves into the block. quite useful for the timing. Oh boy. That is not good. Okay, that one's lower on health, so I'm going to try and take it out quicker. Like that. And it's gone, okay. A one-on-one -on -one fight I can win, providing I don't do anything stupid. There we go, come on. And it's down. Whew. That went better than I was expecting. From the point at which those three turned up, I thought it was all kinds of dead. Mm. Another psychotic tree monster. Up some fireballs. Well then. Oh boy. More chrysalids. I think that's what uh, they said those were called. Yeah, in a one-on-one -on -one fight, they're pretty straightforward. It's just when I get mobbed by two or three of them that I start having problems. Fast than I think. Timing the blocks just right is going to be tricky. Oh boy. Getting attacked from another angle. Probably ought to just back off, fight off the chrysalid, and then go after the psychotic tree since it can't move. Why do I keep casting that spell when I don't mean to? I keep meaning to throw out a fireball, but... Okay, and now just back to the tree. Actually, it's not really a tree at all, is it? More sort of vines. Either way, need to kill him. Now, why on earth would there be... A gemstone in a tree. No, I'm not, not going to ask. It's RPG logic. There's always loot inside of stuff. 
usually for no good reason. Right. Okay, so I want to loop up here and examine this direction. There might be some loot or some monsters to grind, something like that. That looks lootish to me. steel as well. Okay, so that was relatively clear. Let's just actually check up there. A raw metal. Oh god, one of those things. Here, ugly. Oh, bloody hell. Two of them might be an issue. Because the weird thing is, these guys attack so fast that you're virtually guaranteed to get a counter when you block. You're bound to be just before at least one of their attacks, but you're almost certainly bound to take damage as well. So it's, it's a trade-off. Okay. Get out of the way faster. Like that. I got the counter in, but I also took some damage. Take blood, bones. I probably ought to make some more crossbow bolts, shouldn't I? Because I think I should have some stuff now. Uh, that's consumables, isn't it? So I don't know much in the way of a final. But I've got some raw metal and I've got some bones, so let's make... Yeah, that gives me 10 crossbow bolts, which should be enough in the short term. Okay. I'm just thinking it's actually almost to the top of the warrior tree. But I don't know what's going on there. Ollie? Oh. Not even any decent loot. Oh well. Let's head over this way. And we can sprint safely because we've already come from here. Yep. Okay. So, whoa. These poor guys are dog meat. But their equipment still seems to be in good shape. Loot their bodies. Mason will be relieved that his men didn't make too much of a mess of their weapons and stuff. <laughs> Charming. And the perfectly... Oh boy. I'm probably not going to do too much damage to these given that I haven't been specking at all in the rogue tree, but... Dang it. As with everything so far in this game, one-on-one -on -one fights are reasonably straightforward. As soon as they start ganging up on me, I start running into difficulty. Which actually is reasonably realistic of a sort of Master Swordsman. Where you can fight, you can have as much training as you want, but if you get massively outnumbered, you're going to be in trouble. Admittedly, I heard a great description the other week of uh, a true Master Swordsman. You cannot call yourself a Master Swordsman until you have fought three trained men, three untrained men, and three drunks. Ooh, some new loot. Always fun. Oh ho ho ho, that is a quite nice sword. Let's equip that and let's... Guard. Double edge guard, guard with a soldier. Critical resistance. Trying to crit. Crit after parry. Critical resistance. Ooh, quite want that, but I'll need more steel and more refined metal. I think I can probably forge those. 
set on fire. Ooh. Come set chance. Resistance to fire, resistance to ice, resistance to dark, resistance to poison. Hmm. Right, for now I want... What was it? The double... Yes, the double-edged guard. It's my usual moon guard. So I need... One more piece of steel and nine more bits of refined metal. Okay. Right, this one, isn't it? But I'm also pretty low on raw metal, so I'm gonna have problems getting enough refined metal. But I can create a bunch of it for some gold. Unfortunately, I'll need about 40 in order to create enough, so that's a decent chunk of my gold. So. I'm just going to create that. Do that. Create a single piece of steel, so I've got all the steel I need now. Yeah, so I've got all the steel I need, I just need 10 more refined metal. Which might take a little bit of time, but uh, we'll see what we can work with. Wow. Okay, climbing in heavy armor is really, really difficult. Well, this looks a bit ominous. Whoa, what the hell is that? Get off me, whatever you are. Subtle as ever, Vulcan. Oh, bollocks. Pay attention, Richard. Oh boy. Okay, it's just clobbering through my defenses. Unfortunately, the lack of a dodge button and the fact they can virtually just punch straight through. Get a trap up. Come on, ugly. You want to attack me, don't you? Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Exactly do a lot, but it did something. Oh boy. Yeah, I've just got to run in, keep it distracted. Oh boy. Okay, okay. Whoa. Haha. I managed to get that counter there. Okay, so the tendril attacks I can block. The arm swipes I can't very easily. Come here. There's a good monster, come on. So who's tied up over there? And why is she tied up? Bother. Oh boy. I think I've got enough tainted blood to craft a few more health potions than I need to. At least it's not one of those games that makes you sit down to uh, craft stuff. That's always kind of irritating. Oh boy. Come on, come on. Oh. Oh boy. Health potion to go go. Couple of 
fireballs. They're not exactly doing a lot of damage, but every little helps, as the evil organization says. Probably ought to spend those level up points, actually. They might be useful. Uh, yep. Uh, next level, I can start getting that. Excellent. Don't know what it actually does, but uh, potentially useful, I see. And uh, da -da 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 -da. still don't need that yet. No. Mm, yeah, I think I might hang on for that. Possibly. Yes, I think I'm going to get that next, because that'll be useful. Then I'm also going to try and get Craftsman and Master Craftsman and things like that. Okay. Oh. Ah, stop attacking them. Okay. Fight's going okay. Oh. Tried to back off there and that didn't work. Okay, Richard, you know better than that. Never ever utter the words, this fight's going okay. Because you might as well just say maybe something along the lines of, oh, I hope nothing goes wrong and I don't die horribly. Use most of my tainted blood to craft a bunch of health potions. Yeah, I can't block that attack at all. When it attacks with its tendrils, I've got a decent chance of actually blocking and maybe even getting the counter. But when it attacks with its claw, I've just got to get the hell out of the way. Say she, she reloads this crossbow remarkably fast. Yeah, I need to keep her in this fight, ideally. Largely because she's a very good distraction. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. As I said, in this game, single enemies, when you can just focus all your attention on one of them, even if they're a boss, you know, they're tough but fair. This game's big problem comes when you just get swarmed by loads of them, and there's just nothing you can do to counter it at all. Nibbled to death by ducks, I believe is the turn of phrase. Alright. Let's burn this son of a bitch. Come on! Down. You. Go. Hoorah! Oh, ho, ho, nice. Oh. Well, that went well. Yeah, let's go rescue this person, whoever she is. And 
elf. This is horrible. We can't just leave that woman in this prison. I'm sorry she we looked to have enough room to get out to me, here. but uh Cyril, do not do that. I know this woman. She is not here by accident. She is a witch. If you free her, we all run the risk of falling under the power of her magic. Is she gonna be useful and to father, us? We can't just let this poor person And how did you even it get here? Inhuman. inhuman? That is exactly what she is, my child. He's the wicked one. Aeolus, is it not? He's the one who imprisoned me, with no food or water, and barely clothed. I what? You lying bitch! Don't listen to her! Father! She is trying to manipulate you. Use your brain, child! I'm begging you, get me out of here. I can't hold on much longer. I'm sorry if she is a witch. Yeah, what are you, you doing here? You seem to know a lot about her. What the hell are you doing here anyway? The steward asked me to look into a dark power that has been affecting some of the villagers. Something evil. And my search has led me here. It is no coincidence. That cursed woman is the cause. I wouldn't expect him to admit to keeping a woman captive in the swamps for his own evil purposes. Is she Nonsense. implying what I think she's implying? And so you just trotted out here with no escort? What? Were you afraid we'd charge you extra? I came here as quickly as possible, yes. To stop you committing a grievous error. I was hoping that you would escort us back to the village afterwards. Without a supplement, yes. Seems to me that you are quite well paid. Who is she? My name is Edwin. The ignorant will tell you that I'm a witch, a sorceress, or even a necromancer. The truth is much simpler and more socially acceptable. I am, in fact, a magician. But neither as powerful nor as evil-minded as they think me. She lies to me. She is hiding something, and it is not her body. You would say that. I beg your pardon. No, nothing. <laughs> Believe me, she is powerful. She is evil, and she is a danger to us all. And she's potentially useful. I've never been in the habit of just letting people die like animals in a cage, whatever their crimes may be. This woman doesn't look like a dead walker. That's enough for me. We'll take her back to Valvanor, and you can tell your stories to them. Stay away, you stupid girl. Uh-uh. I'm sorry, was he about to knife his own no, daughter? No, you fool! Don't release her! He's really scared of this woman, isn't he? Wow, that armor's impractical. <laughs> Now meet your eternity. What oh are you boy. doing to him? Let him go! Very well. You may have him. I am finished. Father? Father! Oh no, no! This can't be happening! You're gonna wish you died back in that cell, you sick bitch! Wait, wait! If I am to die, I wish to know who stands before me. Vulcan, powder master of the Freeborn Blade. So why'd she and kill him? the man you made the mistake of killing, he was our... That is not my question. Who stands before me? Are you an imbecile or blind? Oh, you I mean the demon. I might be the mercenary who's going to grab you by your snake of a tongue and throw you in the darkest pit she can find. From what I can see, you're an imbecile, incapable of piercing the face that hides the true nature of the Red Scribes. Well, I can pierce your face if that's all you want. In several places. Wow, Vulcan is really subtle. Mock, if you like, lamb that you are. You insist on believing that your employers are only scholars. Given that they chose to dubious summon a demon, yeah, I'm dubious of them as well. Not see more. Red scribes, ice lords, they come from the same mold, and they want the same thing. Some are simply more successful in their efforts. Aeolus thought I possessed knowledge which he could use to become the equal of the Ice Lords. That's why he questioned me. 
Uh, I find that a bit hard to believe. Actually, no, I don't. But. Mm. So what? We're at war and getting our asses kicked. We can't really blame him for trying to find a way to stop the Deadwalkers. Of course. It was for the good of all that I was captured and sequestered here in secret. <laughs> It was to protect freedom that I was starved, tortured, and humiliated for weeks on end. Okay, yeah, this guy it was clearly a bit of a dick. It was and kindness that made him enslave a monster to guard my prison. <laughs> oh yes, I heard them, all of the screams. That beast did not lack for meat. No, indeed. Well, that's a bit unsubtle. Yes, in truth, the scribe was such a brave man that it was only for the happiness of his darling daughter that he tried to stab her. Yeah. That's ridiculous. You he he are did a try and stab You're you, Sybil. My father wasn't like that. A liar! You murderer! You'll pay for what you did! Sybil, Sybil. wait! Which I suggest you behave yourself if you don't want to find yourself back rotting in that cell of yours. I am far from finished with you. I have questions. Lots of questions. And you better make damn sure that I like the answers. So be it. Then I will tell you exactly what you want to hear, mercenary. Fair enough. Why did you kill him? You had the upper hand. Why did you decide to kill the leader of the Red Scribes? I desperately needed to replenish my power, so I drained his. My mood grows a bit murderous when I get too hungry, or when I spend too many days trapped in a filthy cell without so much as a toilet. Your friend was no hero. His aim was to uh, reduce uh, is it the bad that I already kind of like this character? Permitting powerful magicians to become the ice lords that we are fighting even now. He was not my friend, he was my employer. And a very influential man. You could have spared him, giving credence to your version of events. But you chose to kill him, and thus, any chance of them listening to you. Mm. He was a deceitful and manipulative man. No one would have listened to me. So I permitted myself the pleasure of preventing him from harming anyone else. She's probably right, to be fair. The world heart has had nothing but suffering from these magicians. I rejoice at this death. We need more like Be quiet, you. Let's say I understand your reasons. But it was still a reprehensible thing to do that has put us both in a seriously shitty situation. We're gonna have to play this just right in Valvanor. We'll try to talk to the steward, or the Red Scribes will lynch you without a second thought. Yeah. Me? Am I to infer that you're going to help me, gentle mercenary? Yeah, I consider Somebody yourself has lucky. To deal with it. You seem to take pleasure in exposing <laughs> to trouble. I mean, <laughs> it's true. I hate denying myself a little pleasure, but I'm not worried about the outcome. Aeolus's daughter saw everything. She is an innocent, and will confirm everything that happened here. All you need to do is deliver your model yeah. prisoner to your steward. Okay, let's. Let's finish roll. this discussion in Valvanor. We'd better get back before they send a battalion out to look for us. Now, is it just going to teleport me straight back to the village? No, it's not. Okay. And she's following me now. What are her orders? Favor cursing spelled, range attacks, defending self. Okay, I'll just let her act as she sees fit. Okay. That is probably a pretty good point to end this video and say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next part.